Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. When we last left off, we were meeting Mr. McFarlane, and we'd done some more things around the farm. We managed to ranch up some horses. I believe that's probably not the correct terminology, but we got some horses. Uh, horses. We um, did some farm things with cattle, and now, before we do anything else, we're going to try our first wanted poster because we need some money and money is something that has been thus far fairly hard to come by and we're going to need lots of money by the time this game is out so let's have a look let's accept the bounty the bounty target was last seen Okay, so where on the map is that? Oh, he's actually on the map. Interesting. Not actually that far away. Ooh, we've got our first stranger. Curious. You can see it doesn't always take us in the most optimal route, but that's fine. Alright, come on, Mr. Horse. We've got a bounty to turn in. As much as I kind of want to kill this guy, I think if we can, we should take him alive. Because I'd rather get 20 bucks as opposed to bringing his corpse back for 10. In all fairness, you know, by the time we've uh, done our business with him, I'm pretty sure he's going to get the rope anyway. It's just a shame we won't be around to see it. Ooh. There we go. Wasn't exactly a clean kill, but again, more money in the purse. Oh Lord, this is nasty. <laughs> this is nasty. It's coins in our purse. Man, that's way easier than in the second game. All right, let's go. Now, where is our outlaw friend? Kind of feels a bit weird, doesn't it? Suddenly becoming the good guy. Hey, John. You may capture or kill the target. Well... Let's see. What we can do here. Dude. Definitely don't need you guys. Souring the old deal. Come on. He's done. Right, just you left now, partner. Just you left. I don't think so, friend. I don't think so. Come to Papa John. I like the way he's still waving around with his gun. Nah, sorry, friend. But you are nothing but money in our purse. Alright, let's go loot all these stiffs. Looks like we're probably going to get more money from looting these stiffs than we are, actually. By taking this guy back in alive. Yeah, five bucks. Come on. Yeah, look at that. I suppose we can either look at it in two different ways. Either this guy... Oh, dear. Uh, that's not what we want. I don't think so, friend. I don't think so at all. Sack of shit. Where'd you come from, anyway? Even more money in the coin purse. Wonderful. Making your ass seem well and truly worthless. I'm just saying it like it is, dude. 
I'm just saying it like it is. Some horses. We've got nothing here to loot. Now, if you kill a horse in this game, you actually get bad karma. Which is a shame, because you can actually uh, skin the horses and take their meat. Looks like we're going to get enemies continuously coming at us. That's fine. Keep moving. Not bad. I can do this all day. You got another four dollars. You know what? If we do this, we're just going to get more money. All right, let's go grab this sack of shit and hand him over. Come on, you heavy stinking bastard. Well, I can hold you, and I absolutely intend on holding you. I don't know why our guns are red, by the way. Uh, gold, by the way. I'm not sure what that's about. It's almost like... Oh, God, hello. Dude, I'm kind of busy here. No, get off the horse. Kind of really busy here. I don't need you interrupting me every five seconds. I'm trying to take your shitty boss. Back to the lawman. Actually, technically, we're taking him back to the Farlane's ranch. Alright, we can do that. Looks like our health regenerates as well, which is interesting. I thought we had to eat and take medicine to actually get our health back, but... Uh, obviously, my old memory ain't what it used to be. Alright, let's get out of here before more of his friends come. Actually, that was fast. That was really fast. We've got some bloody coyotes. You're wasting your time, sir. You're wasting your time. This guy is literally fucked. <laughs> you comfy back there, friend. Yep. And what are you going to do about it? Nothing. That's right. We'll take it from here. Here's your payment. Cheers, buddy. It's all right. It's Nearly got $100 to our name. We can easily afford to pay back uh, Mrs. McFarlane. But I guess we probably already have done. Alright, let's go see what else we can do around here. A Tempest looms. Most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So, what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. <laughs> I don't think we're going to die out in a storm, surely. I mean, what kind of storm are we talking about here? Some kind of massive apocalyptic storm or or what? All right, well, whatever. Look out! Slippery. Oh, yeah. Slippery one wet, Bonnie. Man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a-calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Ooh, well, even whiskey, if some please. Kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm um, sure it's fine. Well, we'll keep our eye on the prize, don't worry. Okay, so there's one group. Easy. 
All right, where's the next group? Makes sense. So, 11 of 11. I remember this one gets a little bit finicky. The weather changes fast down here. This storm came out of nowhere. Yeah, well, it only gets worse in 100 years or so. Trust me. When a cow becomes a strangler, a blip on the Let's map. Go. All right. Come on, you. No loafing. No lollygagging. We need to get you back. Now march, Daisy, march. There we go. Oh, wait, where are you going? Oh, wait, where are you going? I don't think so. Come on, Betsy. Look, look, you can't just follow what Daisy's doing, all right? There we go. Fold them back in, beautiful. All quiet so far. Ooh, that's not good. There's spooks! We have to stop the stampede! Ah, oh, that's bad. Do something! Do that's bad. Alright. That's really bad. <laughs> Alright, calm down, ladies. Calm down. Alright. It's just a bit of thunder. Let's go. Come on. Let's get this done. Oof. Our horse is not happy. That was bad. You guys are supposed to chill the fuck out. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Calm down. Calm down. Whew. I get the feeling that was pretty close. Right. Regroup. Come on, everyone. We're heading back inside. Trust me, you'll prefer it inside. Fresh hay, probably. There we go. Most likely have fresh hay and you're not going to get soaked. It's a win-win situation. Alright. Get everybody back together. There we go, we've got 14. Right, so the main herd is moving. 17. Oi, 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 oi. Come on. It's quite enough of your nonsense. Fold back in line. And then it's just you. Come on, Daisy. That's enough being out here. Looks like Gertrude stopped. Come on, Gertrude. Get in there. You know, the glue factory is only over the road. Probably. And if there isn't, maybe there should be. As much as I want to shoot Bambi over there, uh, let's just get these guys back. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. I see where this is going. I see where this is going. You two troublemakers, you're going to be a stake next if you don't calm your business down. There we are. Okay. Now I want steak. Haven't had steak in years. Oh, we lost another one. Come on, Alice. Get back in there. Whoa. Who the fuck is Alice indeed? Ah, I see you two. You've earned the complete trust and loyalty of your mount. Excellent. Maximum Jeez. stamina. That was quick and easy. All right. No, no, no. There's always one or two that's got to mess around. No, no, come on, get back down. You're going to be a troublemaker. You're up on the ridge all by yourself. You're going to get a broken leg, and then you're going to be turned into hamburger meat. 
for hamburgers a thing back then? I think they probably were. What do you mean you're all by yourself? Who's done 80% of the work? Maybe 90%. Maybe. And nobody died. Alright, not bad. Good deeds, large and small, are noticed by the populace. And law enforcement. If enough are performed, this will eventually lead to shop discounts. Well, that sounds good. Alright. So. Let's go sleep that off, shall we? It's been a long frickin' day. I think it's about time. We had a nice bit of sleep. Shame we can't have a bath. That's something they added into the new game. You go for a nice hot bath. Ah, uh, sure. Can I have three slaves? Uh, slaves? <laughs> Whoops, slip of the tongue there. My bad. Can I only have three save slots, though? It's not fantastic. Now, I did notice up here, we can play poker there. Don't really want to play poker. Uh, somewhere we can play horseshoe. Which I actually think we have a small danger of winning. But, it doesn't appear that that's the thing right now. Alright, anyway, let's see if we can't get our campsite out. Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just get a stagecoach. Let's get a stagecoach. And we'll go back. Ooh. I'm so sorry, sir. Is there another wanted poster? Well. Be rude not to. Alright, what have we got here? 40 alive. Harlan Forbes, Treasure Hunter Gang, Property Destruction at Rio del Lobo. All right, let's do it. More coin, eh, John? More coin. So where is that? Oof, he's quite far out. Well, that's fine. Might be a good solid ride, but we'll get there. Come on, horsey. Let's go. We need a name for our horse. What about Mr. Pickles? Nah, Mr. Pickles is already taken. I like Pale Ale. That's a good name. Makes him sound like a racing horse. It's definitely not good enough to be a racing horse, though. Right, let's go. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Good thing we're wearing a hat. I'm gonna get soaked otherwise. Some more flowers back there. Oh, Bambi! Sorry, Bambi. I need your skin more than you do. Alright, what have you got for me? Now, we will start hunting much bigger, nastier things than old Bambino here. Okay. Come on, horse. Let's get going, pal. Somebody's letting off some rounds as well. Probably best we pretend we don't hear anything for now. Some more bambinos. Gotcha. All right. Now, let's go grab you. Definitely want to get these uh, plants as well. Because I'm sure we're going to be needing them for something. There's all kinds of challenges and things to do in this game. We're going to try and get them all. Alright, at least we're not going to starve because we've got plenty of deer meat.
what I might do when it comes to like hunting the wildlife and whatnot, I might do that off camera. You see, in the second game, when it comes to hunting animals, you've got to be really careful with what weapons you use. Because certain weapons damage the pelt and meat. Certain uh, animals you need to use low caliber weapons on or pellet guns. Um, arrows even. There's a whole, whole kind of in-depth hunting system in it. And it's really, really good. It's really fun. I'm kind of looking forward to diving into that, actually. Right, well, that should keep us going for a little while. Now, bounties await. If we stop to hunt everything that we come in contact with, we're going to be here for a long-ass time. I'll probably do the uh, hunting things, hunting quests and gathering up plants and things. Probably going to do that off camera. Just because otherwise we'll be here all day. Who wants me to do something? What are we talking about here? What's going on? Uh, oh, we did the right thing. <laughs> okay. Alright, that could have gone either way there. Sometimes it is a little bit dodgy trying to work out uh, who's actually the good guy or not. But, you know, we made the decision and it was the right decision. Oh, we can skin horses here. 15 bucks. Not bad. That was absolutely worth it. Alright, let's go skin these uh, horses. We've got some moonshine as well. I think moonshine and, you know, the like basically acts like potions in this game. Yeah, and if you think these uh, animations for skinning animals takes a while, you ain't seen nothing. The second game is freaking ridiculous. Okay, so where are these two scumbags? Horse hide. Alright, we'll have that. Not sure why we can't loot the second guy. So every now and again, you'll come into a glitch where um, there isn't enough space to actually uh, show the animation. So the animation will be skipped, but you'll still get the loot. Now, I don't know why this isn't just a feature that you can choose in the menu. But there we go. I didn't make the game, damn it. Oh. We do have a stranger mission there. Um, God damn it. These missions are kind of important. I guess we can go talk to this chap. Hello, sir. Do you now? You have me at a disadvantage, sir. Who are you? Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Uh... Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon, and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? 
I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. Hmm. Well, I'm sure, I guess, we can make time for that a little bit later, whenever we're around Thieves Landing. So strangers are just random characters. Well, they're not random. They're all, um, you know, pre-designed. But they are optional side missions that you have to do a little bit of legwork. Oh, another one here before you can bump into them and they have little stories uh, and you get quite cool little um, character interactions and stories as they go on so they're absolutely worth getting and we're going to be getting them all hello well howdy excuse me friend mind if I rest up at your camp a spell that'd well, be my pleasure man needs a break from this desiccated land thank you mister Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh, y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth, uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Proper tie. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns a place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? <laughs> and I can find the source of the water. Build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> so we've got to go steal a property, essentially. All right, well, again, I'm sure we can add it onto our list, my friend. Now, these stranger missions, you can actually fail them. Um, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass. But, if you wait a little bit of time, you can actually um, get them to regenerate, respawn. And I think they regenerate and respawn in the same place. So... You know, there's no worries there. But unfortunately, you just have to wait time. Um, now, on that same thread, any main story mission that we do, we can actually replay. Um, now, stranger missions, you can't replay them. They're a one and done thing. So long as you actually successfully complete them. Otherwise... They're not so one and done. Now I've got this little trail burnt into my brain coming down here. I actually know this map fairly well, I think, in comparison to, say, the second game, which I actually really don't know that much. Chola Springs. Obviously named for the... I say obviously. Uh, not necessarily obviously, but named for the Chola Cactus. That litters this place. Oh yes, I can help a lady. Oh, this is it's Tuesday, boy, and we're here to collect. Hand over what you got. Could do that. Or Or we can get blown away. That was bad. <laughs> yeah, should have probably kept going. Now there is a slight issue with dying. Where's it going to put us? Because this is one thing that really did bother me. Okay, so ten. So we've still got those 
missions available. Now, situations like that will get a lot easier to deal with as we get through the game when we start unlocking things. But... I'm guessing... Right, actually, no. We've still got the Stranger missions as well. Okay, so we didn't actually lose anything. That's good to know. And also on the map, it does tell us, um, you know, what sort of animals are in the region. And there's another Stranger mission there in Armadillo. I don't know how many Strangers there are. There is a few. Right, well... After that bit of unpleasantness, I think it's time to call it a day. So we're going to call this video here, guys. When we come back, we are going to go hunt down that bastard and bring him back. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.